Okay. I have have, have it all deburred. I put some eighth inch uh, drills through to line everything up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark this drill here <clears throat> so I can measure the length that I'm going to need. Get my calipers or scale. All right. That way I can cut the drill rod to the right length or close to. I'll, I'll cut it a little long. Looks like one inch 500 around that. So <clears throat> I'm just going to take my Dremel tool and and uh, cut it off. Clean off the mark here. One inch 500. Huh? Right there. I'll cut it just a little long. Hopefully I can cut it this way. Should be able to just bend it and snap it. I'm try to deburr that a little bit. The murder hanging around it. Although I'm not going to stick that end in, but. That can take the place of that one. I wonder if I should put some uh, Loctite on them before I set them in place. I'm thinking maybe I should. So pull it back out. I'm going to get my needle nose pliers here. My, my big needle nose pliers in. Pull that out. And I'm just going to put a drop of Loctite on the inside here and there both. And then tap it into place. Okay, 
Try that again. I'll just work my way around. I'm gonna go grind the uh, end off of that so it's flat and straight. Thing sounds like it's an airplane taking off. Snap it off and then go and grind the end again. Hopefully I'm going to get it running halfway through. <laughs> checking to see if this, the other spokes are still loose. Otherwise, if I'm pushing it off, it, it'd get tight. One inch 500. in <laughs> Thank you. 
Camera's still recording? Yep. <laughs> okay. That was a tight one. Let me get my little, my little hammer. For the net, some Loctite on it. Loctite there and there. That one felt like it was a little, a little long. I'm just checking it to see if it's throwing it off and which way it's throwing it off. Put one in opposite here. One inch five hundred. See, I plan on going back on the lathe, chucking on this, and taking a really light cut on that anyway. Uh, hopefully it ain't running too badly out of whack we'll see we shall see Snap it off. Right in the end. This one in the place. This is my first attempt to make a, a flywheel in this manner, uh, rather than doing it on the NC machine. So. We shall see if it turns out. We'll see together if it turns out. Well, I, I put a eighth inch dowel in the center of it also, so that when I put these pins in, they go up against that. Okay, so now this one is pretty tight. Looks like it's got to go that that way. There we go. Got 
that back in line. Just using that as a gauge to uh, <clears throat> see if I'm close to, se to center. I gotta remember to order some more uh, drill rod though. I'm using it up. Not much left. This is. This was. Uh, what was it? The red was. Yeah, W1. This is W1 drill rod. Water hardening. Water hardening carbon, carbon steel. All right. Loctite should be set up on the first ones already. Stuff sets up pretty quick. The snug one. Right there. up yet last one last one then I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit to let that Loctite set up really good and then uh, we will go on the lathe and see what we can see what we get then after the you know and I'm probably won't even use this flywheel because <clears throat> what I'm going to use it on already has a flywheel but I just wanted to go through with the process of everything on that drawings to make sure that that uh, what they we used to call it proof of concept, you know, to have a working part unit from what your uh, drawing is. To prove that your drawing and everything and your your uh, idea works out. <laughs> doesn't make a working part <laughs> what good is the design There we go. So now, now I'm just going to let it sit, and uh, 
let the Loctite set up. And then after that we'll go to the lathe and clean these up, hopefully. And turn the hub, turn the faces, uh, maybe even, I should have probably put a chamfer already on the inside, but I didn't. So anyway, that's where we're at. I'm going to leave it set until probably tomorrow. So, and then I'll come back to it. So until then, catch you later. Okay, I decided that uh, I can go over and check to see how con concentric it's running. Save myself some time if it's running way off. Knock them back out and redo it, and then relock tight them. So, so let's move over to lathe, <clears throat> and uh, we'll stick it in that collet and see. Um, let's see if I can get you in here close. I could put that camera on. I want you to focus on that. Okay. The collet should still be in there. I don't need the carriage. Well, I'll move it up because I need to get the tail stock up there to get the... I'm going to back this way up. Alright. Collet should still be in there from when we were... Let's turn it... Let's just spin it once and see. I want to go probably at 360. Something that's not real fast so I can see if how much is wobbling. And she's got a little bit of a little bit of wobble to it. It's wobbling this way. No. Probably can't see it in the camera unless I get over here. Let's move this camera out of the way. Ugh. It's mag. I got it on a magnet base, and it just pretty strong magnet. So I'm gonna set it over here for now, and let's see if we can zoom in. We're gonna look at it. See it wobbling there. Let's get an indicator on it. See how much it goes. See how much it's this way. It ain't that bad though, really. I'm kind of impressed that it's that close. Let's see how it'll go underneath. I'll go underneath it that way you can hopefully you can see the indicator dial. I will set it at zero. Can you see that? Oh yeah. Yes sir, you can. Alright, I'm gonna put it in neutral, hit the E stop, and just turn it by hand. Get it out of gear. Come on. There we go. Wow. I'm totally impressed. I'm I I've uh this is one of those times where you you actually amaze yourself. Uh two thousand. What I'm seeing is two thou, maybe just a little more. Oh, wow, that to me is totally amazing. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. I figured maybe twenty-five, thirty thou. How about this inside rim? You know, because <clears throat> when I had it in uh, four jaw, I was pushing on that pretty good. So what's the inside look like here? I'm amazed the outside is running that true. It ain't much more than that. Uh, two, three thou. All right, so what is it this way that we're seeing? 
that shake. You know, the wobble that way. Now that is if this eighth inch pin now runs true to that hub. <laughs> it should. They were that was that was done at the same time, so there's no reason why that shouldn't be running true. <laughs> That'll be the part that it should be and it'll bite me. <laughs> well that's not so bad either. Five thou. Wow. Alright. I'm gonna leave it set. I'm gonna leave it set and make sure that uh, Loctite is set up real well. I'm just gonna leave it in the lay there and then when I come back, when we come back to it, I'll come here and I'll touch and we'll take and cut these pins down. And I'll come in with a tool on this side and face this and then face that. This these sides are gonna be painted, so I, I want to face, even though, it, you know, you can see that. I'm amazed that you can see that 5 thou wiggle in it, but but I'm going to get it so that it's true. <clears throat> It'll be zero. <laughs> wow. Oh. And I was thinking that I wasn't going to use this flywheel because I have one, but no, I am going to use this one. I'm going to use this one on this uh, stand and the next one that I build I won't have to build a flywheel. I should have built two of two of those little motors right away because <clears throat> I have another I have another uh, weed and stand also and a flywheel. Weed and stand and a flywheel, boilers that I haven't finished yet. So. I'm standing here kind of in awe of myself. <laughs> I mean, it's like I, I, I can hardly believe that. I'd like to knock that middle pin out and, and mount it on the pin and but I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna knock it around at all until that you know what Loctite sets up pretty quick and it sets up strong so it's uh what number is that? Yeah, six eighty. Six eighty retaining compound and at uh the sheer strength of that is really it's really up there. And uh It's an anti-aerobic, and uh, yeah, part number six eight zero three five, and between this one and uh, this one's a little stronger than than uh, the other one that I use. The other one I use is an adhesive and sealant, and that's 271, and that is permanent strength also. The only way, the, the only way sometimes you can get, sometimes the only way you can get it apart is to heat it up to uh, burn the Loctite off because of the sheer, sheer strength of it. Yeah. I, I've had these bottles like forever. So. And then I have the blue stuff, the anti vibration. I did have some flange sealant, but I only bought a little tube of that, and that's that's gone. <clears throat> so, anyway, I better go and uh, figure out what I'm going to Oh, I'm going to put the vise back on the, on the mill, clean up the mill, put the vise back on, dial the vise in, and. Uh, the next, the next project will be probably the eccentric, the eccentric. Um, eccentric, no, eccentric is when. <laughs> never mind. I'm thinking to myself. <laughs>
anyway, the, we'll probably do the eccentric because um, I got the centric to do and oh and, and I'm going to <clears throat> this this engine I'm gonna make it so that it's just like the Whedon so that when you turn the flywheel it'll take off running that way if I turn the flywheel the other way it'll take off running that way and how I how you accomplish that is the eccentric to the to the uh, valve there's a little pin there and it slips about 180 degrees so when you turn it this way it slips to the to the end of the slot and it'll run that way and then when you turn it the other way it slips to the other end of the slot and it'll run the other way you'll you'll see when they come to it but I'm gonna go get the drawings printed out and out here and ready to go um, this one I can take down it's done and uh, <clears throat> if I do offer the drawings I will in I will include uh, th this uh, um, hole for the construction holes so that if you don't have a um, any way of indexing you won't need to you can do it the way we did it with uh, the knee and couple pins so. so anyway I'm gonna go catch you later